Hello everyone, I'm Me Phone 4 and I'm Son of Beast and this is NBA 2K23 on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, Me Phone here as right now we have a next matchup and I hope you are ready for the holidays for Season of Giving. That's the next one that we are giving things off to for this season on 2K23. After the end year of 2022, then it will be 2023 to lift off for a new year. It's getting there close, but we are just getting things really well in control. First up, I'll have a lot to say that the episode is finally out if you'd like to go check it out here in my post here on the channel on Animation Epic. That is me. I will see you on the other side if you will like to go check that one out. In the meantime, it is about that time for our next game. We have the next matchup. Boston Celtics are facing against Dallas Mavericks at American Airlines Center. That is right. Because this next matchup, this is about to be a heavy on heavy team. Here are the starting lineups as we have as followed. Marcus Smart, then it's Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and of course, the veteran player, Al Horford. After playing with a couple of teams, he has definitely finally made his way back last season with the Boston Celtics. So we are so glad to see Al Horford return to the Boston Celtics after the Sixers and the OKC Funders. But now he likes to join things up and do it again. And on the other side we have his Luka Doncic, Spencer Dinwiddie, Tim Hardaway Jr., Dorian Finney-Smith, and D.Y. Powell. Let's take you over to the game at American Airlines Center where Paintbrush, Test Tube, and featuring the third Son of Beast at the game. Enjoy your next matchup, folks. I'll see you guys later here for the halftime show and a post-game show. All right, before we get into here, here's a look at these top players of the game. All right, let's Don Ted. Letter B. E24 J1. Putting on that dribbling clinic. Look at those handles in the spin cycle here. Sends the defender into a hall of air. Where did they go? I have never seen that one here. Letter C. Stanley 2K. Stanley 2K. Stanley. Here he is using step as a decoy and wings it out and zeroes on the move. And letter D. Let's see what this all turns out. It's Tiller 2X. Watch this one. That's cash money over there. I like that one. Do you guys like it? Well, leave your thoughts down below. You don't have to worry about anything. You can just choose it anytime you want. So with that, it's time to get in the game. 2K TV Wow moments. It's yours truly. Let's get in. This is your visiting team here of Boston Celtics. A shooting guard, Derek White. At center, Al Horford. At the important position, Marcus Smart. At small forward, Jalen Brown. And at small forward position, Jason Tatum. Your Boston head coach here of the game, Joe Mazzula. It's now time 
Sometimes it was a, a lot of lengthy credit on the run. But so far, however, I definitely feel like everyone was lucky enough for me. It definitely gave us a proving love with ultimate experiences. So I really enjoyed with them as also. And guys, the key matchup we have is Marcus Smart and, of course, Luka Doncic as well. It looks like they're ready to take on anything, and they are ready to do what they wanted to do to get the game started. They're going to like it, and they're going to love it. With the Dallas start, here are the five groups all fueled up and ready to go. Tim Hardaway Jr. is covered up by Jalen Brown. Spencer Dinwiddie on Derek White. Now Luka Doncic on Marky Smart. Al, and then Al Horford on against the other player here that just turned out, D.Y. Powell. And of course, the other player might go for Vinnie Smith and Tatum. Tatum is the best uh, shooting point four position, small four position. They already have gotten some great, uh, my high static ability. They are a tough team to try to take them down here on the board. They love them so much from the teams, and they made their way to the finals last season that they have already beaten against the upsetting team of the number one seed that they already been played against, Miami Heat. And same thing with Luka Doncic's team, they already beaten against the Phoenix Suns in the second round. But the other game at this point, I think the Luka Doncic and the teams are going to do hard enough. Luka Doncic, amazing drive, and that was your mobile one drive play for Dallas. He's really tough on the bounding. What a smart good play on the run. He is well tough. Jason Tatum, first bucket here for this game, and he's got two. Jason Tatum has already gotten some great static ability out there. And as you may have noticed here before, that couple games are turning out to be roughness. Here's D. White Powell covered up by Al Horford. Donkic on the other hand now goes over to Dinwiddie. Sixth remaining on a shot clock. They open over to Finney Smith. What a pass by Lanka, Luka Donkic, and Finney Smith with the first bucket. That's a great pass out there. He's really well into that right now. I'm seeing a lot of things happen. Luka Donkic, the best play he gets. Tatum finds White. White moves inside. Pretty for Tatum. Rebound by Luka Doncic. That's his first rebound in the game. Now 
Tom Hughes Hardaway Jr. hasn't scored yet so far. He fishes off to Dingley. In the corner, making new changes, finds Donkic. What a play through! And Spencer Dinwiddie with the first assist of the game. Donkic with six points. That's what the way you call you that one here. Because Spencer Dinwiddie really had pressured things on. Smart outside. Nobody around him, and the first three pointer has come in close. Dallas lead by three. Moves over to Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie over to Hardaway Jr. He takes it over to Finney Smith. Right over to Dinwiddie with a shot. Good bucket eye contact. And Dinwiddie with the first bucket. Now that's one way to get the key eye on that one for Spencer Dinwiddie. He really has got a good eye technique on the contact shot. Right over the man and he had it all down where he had it. Right over to Tatum. For the two. In and out. That's Luka Doncic with the second rebound of the game. With under three minutes left, 10 and 5 is his score. Finney Smith back to Doncic. He moves back to Finney Smith. Moves way over to Powell. Over Horford. And a great catch releases for D.Y. Powell with the first one taking over. Timeout first call by Boston Celtics with 2.18 left to remain. Now that is one tough of the luck. That's what you all have to step in about to make it happen. And let me say this one. The one tough team that they are all going for, they're really a tough uh, man to be proud of at that point. Without Chris Stapp-Porzingis for last season, this really has to turn things out with the last season win against Washington Wizards. They've really got to pressure things on and they are very the top teams, but they're all going for it. New substitution made here for the Boston Celtics and the Mavericks as a couple players are checked out. Tatum, Horford, White, Smart are on the bench, and Pritchard, Brockton, Williams, and Griffin are checked in. Now, on the other hand, now, four players are checked out. BP, Wood, Green, and Bullock are checked in. Now let's talk about this. We know that Blake Griffin has already played here with the last season against the Brooklyn Nets. For this time, this was going to be an upsetting run here for the game. I'm sure that this really has to turn things out a tough run of a battle. But they're not really important to go right in from the other angle. You can tell why that really does prove the only players, they have it all. Brown missing the three. McGee with the first rebound here. Now swings over to Donkic. Donkic, step back for three. Oh man, he makes that one good one in the corner outside the range. First three pointer for Luka Donkic. His best inner lead is stepping big. I know that this tough one has already gone big. Griffin for three. It's taken over by Woods. Now, here's Donkic. Donkic swings back to Wood. Now to Bullock. With under a minute to play in the first period. Fades. Rolls over to Bullock. And it's rejected by Pritchard. With the first turnover, Dallas. He's really good one. He's a tough, tough, tremendous bounding that you might have to stop him on. Donkic back the other way. Now finds McGee. McGee rolls it over to Woods. Now rolls back over to Donkic. Donkic drives in front. Count the bucket and one. Williams with the first foul. And Donkic has gotten some great plays in between. Well, that's a tough stop. You are really going to handle all. As Donkic really got a great, great look in between. That attackers are very a tough and bound ball. Williams went on it too tight and it went right around the back. That really cost him the best one of the players up. As for one shot of per occurrences, with stopping the clock here at 32 seconds left. This one now turns to be 19 to 5. Find the lane. Find the lane. 
He had an L with the two pointers, but the free throw won't be in, you know. Ball almost went loose. And Pritchard, what a drive through. Around Bullock and first bucket went in. That's because the Pritchard really has to stand out for himself. He has gotten away with it. Hold on the ball tight. Here's Green. He's covered up by Brown. Now rolls back to Donkic. Ten seconds to remain. Kleba right back over to Green. Another two-pointer up. It's rebounded by Griffin. And Brown for a three. And in and up. That ends the first quarter. A 19-7 victory of the first run with the turning point. That has to be the tough players that made that inbound. He's really improving. I definitely agree with you. Really tough than you can bet. First quarter closed. Second quarter is coming up after this break. Here's your ultimate of the group here, but we all have to go for the second quarter. As we're talking about here of Luka Doncic for himself, he was the best player in the Euro League since his first debut. Shoot. He really loves to see his teams and come back with a win. And back is playing with the 2021 of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics here with the uh, Selena. He definitely played it with the team in, a, in the Olympics of the, of the competitions. And Jason Tatum played with the Team USA, and they are always a better team than they have done before. That's a couple of days back already. I know what he has done so far because Donkic really got a great company out there. With top players inbound, love to meet with his friends. Dinwiddie around round and rebounded by Horford. His first rebound here for Boston. Tatum rolls over to White and he goes inside White. Rebounded by Duka Donkic. That's number five in a row. He's Donkic, bro. He's really well on that one here. You can feel like he was going for it. And with a quick word of his responding, the coach teams here have put it up. Jason Kidd really knows his way. The proving of ability has really turned things off, and he wants to give it to the players who have more confidence in between. Turnover by Jason Tatum with the steal. I see that one because that steal has proven things to be going out of bounds. Again, the bucket counts for Jason Tatum. He has his first releasement, and the first foul is called on Hardaway. That's when you tough in the mountain. When you make a drive appearance, you really got to pressure it all. And he really signs out. Lights out, no questions asked. New changes coming in for Boston and Dallas as they'll make another quick, quick changes here on the run. And one shot coming up here for Jason Tatum. Tatum releases a free throw and now brings it back down by nine. Well, they're tough though, but they're never going to let that happen if you're going to try to keep that one up. Hardaway back over to Kleba. Now moves to Finney Smith after Luka Doncic is checked out. Hardaway Jr. Finney for three. And this one has called to be a loose ball on Jim Bale McGee. Right on Horford. That's his first personal, and he messed that one up. Kleba comes out as right now Powell is checked back in. That's what you don't want to do to make the loose ball foul changes. Because if you're on him, you're going to like lose out with your contact. Brown makes a three. Bringing a team down by six. And that's tough one. Open looks on Jalen Brown. He is well played. Hardaway Jr. around white and good on a two-pointer release. That's another bucket and a first drive for Hardaway Jr. That's a mobile one drive of the game. He's really a clever now. He's really like a better player than the man, and you can definitely tell him. Tatum missing out the three. McGee with a third rebound here tonight. Four minutes left to play here as 21 to 13 it comes up by. Hardaway Jr. rolls back to Finney Smith. Finds over McGee. Looks over to Powell. Bounce pass. Good luck and a drive making the end for JaVale McGee. That's Powell with the assist. He's top though. More confidence on that one. He makes that one an easy bucket score. White 
for three. Another miss by Boston Celtics. Last night was a very tough one loss against Miami. He only made one block at that point and only had 18 in the bucket's run of the score. He's well on that one. I felt like he was already been picked up at that point. Really well in the beginning and be able to leave him that you see it. White, after the assist here, comes up by Marcus Smart. He has gotten some first buckets here this one. Dinwiddie to Powell. Pass to Hardaway Jr. Wants to make new changes here for the Dallas Mavericks. Open look, for Dinwiddie. Good, the two-pointer releases, and it's another run for Dinwiddie. They extend the lead again. He's really on a hot, heavy run. And a first foul called by McGee. His first, second foul. As a second team foul, and this is on Dallas. That's when you're making mistakes out there. He had a bad timing on the run. And he should have been on here just like he did before. Jalen Brown at the free throw line going for two shots. Stop the clock at 2.39 left to play in the first half. First free throw sends in for Brown. And they are definitely tough though. Jalen Brown, a definite team. New changes comes in for the Celtics. Brogdon, Pritchard, Williams, and Griffin are checked in. They're also making changes for Dallas Mavericks too. Four players checked off. Bullock, Green, Wood, and Powell moves over to the center. The second free throw for Brown is sent in. Here's Sidney. Only scored four points of his game against the Celtics. Powell, reach over to Bullock. Bullock, right over to Dinwiddie. Up and overhead pass. Bounce pass to Powell. With a toe. In and out. That's rebounded by Williams. First rebound here of the game. Here's Brogdon, round the other way. Double man on him. Free for Fritcher. No good outside the three point range. We're only coming down to two minutes to play in the first half. Here's Wood on the other hand. Wood back to Bullock. Green outside. Now rolls over again to Dinwiddie. And Christian Wood really has a great uh, chance ability to make that one in. After coming up with a loss against Detroit Pistons the last one in overtime, they have stepped it up through. Tough teams with the comeback. I know, they're really tough teams to play that with a great heavy run out there. They're going to need to try to focus on them and more in between to try to have it up more. They need something else to keep an eye on. After free pointer for Jalen Brown, here's Bullock. Rolls over to Green. Inside! And he's fouled by Williams. Second personal, first team foul on Boston. A minute and 18 left to play in the first half of the game. They're not really always going to pick that one up. They have somebody else to make new changes to go right back from fourth. They need somebody to get right into play with their possession drive. He hits the first free throw. Green with a fantastic run. Now new changes as Kleba and Donkic checked in for Powell and Dinwiddie. The second free throw won't be in as this turn goes right back the other way. Up and over, Brown over Wood. Rebounded by Donkic. That's number six in the game. Really tough though to get things all at once. Here's Donkic back the other way. Step back with the two. Good and a broke of the corner angle for Donkic. He is lifting new heights, 13 points. He is perfect on the run. He's really heavy. Pritchard breaking defensive on the Dallas Mavericks. They're pushing P down by eight. Not a great side at all. You're gonna to need to try to like fix the new changes here if you want to go stop him. 
Kleber roll back to Donkic. Now flings to Wood. Receiving over to Green. Five to shoot. Around the Brown, and it's good. Inside the line, and that's Green gets five. Williams, free for Brown, nobody on him. Another missed pointer here for the three pointer outside connection feed. Dokic wants to end off with the first half of this game. Clock winding down. Kleba, he didn't want to take his own time. He's going for the boss beater. Oh my! That's seven in a row! What a play for Dokic! Oh yeah, baby. Dokic, a deliberated hero of the night. Well, the first half is closed, and we will come back right to this game. A terrific first half in the game. What a great commentator is in between. And Dunkic, a perfect well-being. Let's check out their recap look in between the first half. What a play here for another terrific score. Luka Dunkic on the perfect run so far of his field goal range. As for other players, didn't have that much chance to make the abilities. He is tough though to get things off started. And for Boston Celtics, he didn't really appear at all. But with all that happened, they're fighting back. They're just looking for a chance to come back and tie this game. We'll see how well they do in a second half. And that is it. The first half is closed. Let's head you back to over to Dallas. Go back right now. We'll be right with you. The post-game show after the game. See ya. Welcome back at the American Airlines Center. We are getting ready to start the third quarter. 34-22, and only the perfect score of Luka Doncic. I know that Luka Doncic was putting things a great run of his uh, contest score. He is perfect for tonight. 15 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 assist. I mean, he is well played. I mean, we'll see him how well he does here, if he can try to lift it off through. Here's Brown, as we are getting ready to start, glad you make us here with us today. As for this one, it's being covered out here with the tough matchups of the night. With the tough teams inbounding, we've seen some couple baskets here for Boston Celtics and for the Dallas Mavericks. What do you guys have to say about this game? Well, my decision in this one has turned out that the Mavericks are really well being on their run for tonight. They are definitely a best team in the Western Conference. And Boston Celtics, they are a clutch winning series in between for the games in the road in the Eastern Conference matchup. They're really tough now to be a better player than ever. They really would like to like get back in the game, but I like to say that they are always a great team. Right for three. That went off the rim and Donkic, a seventh rebounding of the night. Lots of rebounds in between, 17 for Dallas and only five for Boston. That's how many rebounds they have gotten in so far. Donkic, rolling back to Powell. Rolls up for the two. He missed the rebound. Go back the airway is Tatum. Now Brown, rolls back to Tatum. Open angle, Brown. And it's rechecked out, and Hofer couldn't get the rebound ball back. That's tough one, you want to get a good call on that one. Try to make it up. Powell, easy twos, and Donkic with the assist. Powell's got six points this game, extending the run lead of the score. Brown for three. And once again, the three pointers off the line for Boston, and they are on hold. I know they are. They can't be losing their games, and like this one before. Donkic, rolling back over to Hardaway Jr. Five to shoot. Looks over to Finney Smith. Great contact D on Orford as Finney Smith misses one. White tries again. That's good. He finally answers the call. Nobody have a guard on him. You can't let a man be alone. And he wants to make that a three. Don't try to lose your speed. This really happens to most of the players that wanted to get over it and attack it. Powell. Dinwiddie for three. Rebounded by Finney Smith. Taken back. 
Luka Doncic. Trying to make a move out here. With a two. And the streak is over. Doncic misses the bucket. That has to stand out. Uh, first half, we made a completion. Perfection. But second half was picked out off. Doncic. Pulls back as Dinwiddie outside. Rolls back to Hardaway Jr. Powell with the screen. Vinny Smith over right. Layup, one hand, and he makes it inside, no problem. That's another bucket score here for the Dallas Mavericks. Here's White, finding over his Wolfer. Double man, Brown outside for three. No good, Orford back. And he counts it back it in there. Mavericks calls time here as with only 232 left to play in the third quarter. That tough score really has to turn things off. A tough run that they won. For this one, this has to be right. A hard on carry. They need something else to get right back in the game. I'm sure they do. They really have to get right over. No changes here for the Celtics and for the Mavericks as McGee is checked in for Powell. Also, Dinwiddie making new changes. Four players checked out. Tatum stays on a small four. And as for all five players checked out, all five players checked in. Here's Dinwiddie going back over to Green. Now he moves over to McGee. Only had two fouls in the first half, but has to be careful on not getting over. That's what you really don't want to do. That's for, that's for him, of course, getting in there. Finally got a bucket here. That is a tough score inbound for McGee. Smart for three. That reaches up again for a number three point miss to run. Here's Dingwoody on the other side. Back over to Wood. Pull it. On again on Brockett. Dingwoody. Finding over. Open through two. Woods gets it in there. Great pass by Dingwoody. That's Woods. He's picked up his first bucket of the night. He's all quiet alone. Welcome back, Wood. Two point of potato. A reach out, missing opportunity range. Another miss by Boston. Now McGee rolls over to Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie off to Bullock. Bullock over Dinwiddie, now finds Green. Shot clock down to five. Looks over to McGee with a two. And a miss here by Dallas Mavericks. That's smart with the rebound. Coming down to a minute left. Brogdon going in. Great off shot. Good tough D on McGee. No foul is kicked. That's an easy clean defense. That's a good, a good clean defense. They have that one back a lot. Bullock reach over to Wood. He gives off the bullet. Fade back to Wood. He wants to give it off. Here's Bullock. Missing off. Woods wants him to try again. Finds over Woods. A two. Layup try. Good. A two point connection. He has a second bucket. You know, he give it back. Uh, he wants Reggie, Reggie to shoot. And he wants to give it back to him as well. Tatum flies back up here to the opposite side. Finds Blake Griffin. Clean defense. No foul given. Here's McGee. Gives over to Woods. With a two. And he wasted time. No bucket here for McGee. That ends the third quarter. 46-27 is your score in the third. Celtics need to find a way to get back in the game and try to close it off if they want to come back and tie the game up. They need to. They have to get over it. 46-27 score. We'll be back with you with the fourth quarter coming up. And to close things off here, let's check out your State Farm assist of the game. Now here's what I'm thinking about that one here. I love seeing the players how they did. A communication fee for Donkic, they got a good one. As for Woods for himself, got an assist. He's really all alone into it now because when he gets there right in the right inside, outside from the box, he had in here a great looking drive. Here's 
Donkic. We have done three quarters, and this is the final quarter as we are in the gap. Manny Smith rolls over to Woods. He rolls back to Hardaway Jr. Hardaway, all right, over back to Donkic. A drive in, scoops it up. Amazing drive move forwards for Donkic. How terrific, feed. You feel like fingertips rolling out of you, and the ball, you got it out there. A terrific Dallas Maverick mobile one drive for Donkic. What a play. Horford gets it back. Brown for three. Again, no good on the free corner range. Finney Smith back to Cleva. He swings over to Hardaway Jr. Jr. back over to Finney Smith. Now things over to Donkic. Rolls over to Finney Smith. Two pointer outside. And it's rebounded up by Horford. They're all out of focus right now. They're seeming like they don't want to take the three pointer with the range. Finney Smith with a steal. A fast break. Here we go. Hardaway Jr. with a two. And an assist by Donkic. That is the second bucket for Hardaway Jr. A really fast pace. Pace out there. What a terrific spin. Brown outside, three pointer. Reaching up again too soon. Woods picking up another rebound as Finney Smith has it. Closing out is Donkic. Now back over to Fardaway Jr. Now moves back to Donkic. He zooms in. Two pointer releases. Donkic already on a streaking roll. He has another two point score. That's 19. Here to Dallas. Off to a great start. Just coming back in again. Well, as we're being said right now, they are definitely a best team in a Western Conference. The next timeout is called out by Boston. I've only 4.16 to go. Well, this turned out to be a really terrific one as we have to bring things over again to a to amazing play in this action. How does it feel to be a, a one definite score? I say that this was a great, tremendous score that they really won. I don't know if you can definitely call that one here, but they are really a good team. I really got a great coverage of that one. But we have already seen some great feeds of the drive. And best highlights of Luka Doncic, I mean, you got to give him that one with the credit. He's off to a great, terrific start. I agree. I agree with him, this guy. He's really like a, like a top man in position. I mean, he is already on a great, great transition to get over it. I'm really sure that this is going to be another transition to go in between the tricks. Hopefully there's another change up if they want one. After the timeout has been called, new changes here for the for the Celtics and the Boston as as Mavericks making new changes. Jackson, Bonnie, and Cornet are checked in. Jackson with the first three misses. And a foul. Oh, went badly. As for right now, Kleba picks up his first personal. Only four of seven to remain in the fourth quarter. With that one, Courtney had really gotten some great feeds off of that one. A lot of scoring breakdowns. They got a lot of points off assistant. And the mid-range are just turning out big. The wild it gets, the more better they had a better player than he had ever done before. Cornet at the line for two, and let's see how well he has done. I have to say, he's had a lot of, a lot of uh, consecutive runs. He's got to get there. First bucket for Cornet's good. And now new changes here as Brown and Jason Tatum comes back in as two players are checked out. Has finally got his first bucket here at the free throw line. They're now coming back down. The tough one being out there, it's just not really the tough one you want to like try to stop their run. But I'm thinking they might need to go try to find another one if they really want to get over it. Walker, two-point release that scores. That's Kemba for sure. And with that one, Tim Hardaway Jr. with the assist. Glad to see Kemba Walker back in again. 
because now and never, they really have nowhere to be found at. After playing with the Boston Celtics, they have to say, welcome back, Kemba. Three for White. Corn it back again. And he put it back in there. As the corner has a second bucket. Walker, first bucket has two. Now brings off to Kleba. Kleba right over to Nick Titalia. Over Hardaway Jr. And alone, Nick Talia got it in there. First bucket and assist by Hardaway. It's just going to be a great scoring effort to make that one more prove than he had done before. Three-pointer can hit for Brown. Walker finds over to Kleba. Now swings over to Natalia. Natalia over to Walker. Go over to Bertans. Just five to shoot. Over around corner. And a second try for Kemba Walker. And Natalia with the assist. Telkina, that might need to be a... a, a a right a last name to go with that one. It's it's tough to say and pronouncing, but I got tons of feelings to say. This really has to turn things up like he did. Jason Tatum, two pointers connects. Tatum has seven points. Now back to Walker. Now fights over to Tim Hardaway Jr. Swings back to Walker. Moves back over to Hardaway Jr. Now fights for times. For times, rolling over to Walker. The two-pointer, release, and foul is called by Pritchard. That's his first personal on number team foul on Boston. Kemba Walker looking for two three-pointers here if they wanted to get over it again. So with that one, this really has to turn things off. Walker on the carry. Two free throws coming up here for Kemba Walker. Stopped at under two minutes to play. Walker hits the first free throw. Now new changes are coming in here as three players are checked out. White, Brown, and Tatum. And Smart, Jackson, Von Lynn are checked in. Also the Dallas Mavericks making new changes. Kleba and Hardaway Jr. are checked out. Green and moves over to Small Ford and McGee is checked in. Walker hits two free throws. What a great connection. Pritchard leading, trailing their team, and Jackson for three. Missing out his range, and Bertans back the airway. Now here's Green. Rolls over to Bertans. Fights back over to Green, right over to Walker. Looks over to Bertans. Around him, drive, count it, and one! Finally, with the foul, and Bertans has his bucket down. Oh man, that drive is going to be a terrific score, and a lot of fouls are picking up for Boston. Bertans really knows his way. He went around Bindley, and how did that happen? The foul, and one. You count that bucket. First foul, Lisa on Bindley. And now for Bertans with one bucket. Remaining here at the free throw free line. For times, don't have enough to make an encouragement to get over it. Smart, outside, three-pointer. And it missed alone. McGee with the rebound. He has a great coverage of that one here as he has seven rebounds. Pritcher and Walker. Now to kill you on Smart. Rolls back to Walker. Just six to shoot. They need to get the shots open now. For times and two. In and out. That's McGee with the rebound. Walker swings over to Green. With the drive. Reversing angle. What a tough shot. Green has got seven points. Now they're just extending their lead run. And what a play. Whoa! Jackson with the dunk. 
I've always seen that one. And you have to know what happened here. It didn't really, really caught on that moment. How can you really get over it? The Kalina right to green. Spraying the floor here on the on the opposite side. Five to shoot. Walker on number two. Rebounded by Jackson. Only 20 seconds last possession for the Celtics. Clean D and taken away by Natalia. What a stop run out there. They really have no their way to get around it. I know, right? They definitely did. And that will close the game. A Dallas win, 64-35. And with that one, it's a great to be back to be pleasure to see Kevin Walker with the game. All games, all control. They know their way around. Yeah, I know their appreciation. They got a really good heavy to make the contest roll. And the closings off, let's go down to Allie LaForce for our presentation of the game. Allie, it's all yours. That's another victory for you, but the games will keep coming. So what's the most important thing for this team to establish? Game tonight, and it paid off, guys. Thank you, Allie. And for long as me, Tusk Tubin, Son of Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA 2K23. We'll see you all here for the next game. A terrific run, terrific ability. Now we go down to me phone to close this game. It's all yours. See you next time. And good night and Dallas. Paintbrush, thank you very much here, and with this part of this game, it has to turn things out to be a tough running inbound. A lot of play drives in between from the point range, field goal percentage, free throws, break points, and in the paint. There is a lot of bench scores here for the Dallas Mavericks that they already picked up 25 over 10 run of the Celtics, while 7 break points was turning to be a Celtic run on 35, that turned out to be not enough to get over. And just a perfect free throw at the line of this game only has received a, a free pointers 4 out of 26. Might be tough though to get over it. And there is a lot of field goal range here it's in between the 70 point percent, 30 to 43. Team fouls released up here for the less scoring fouls of this drive here from Puckett and 1. And there might be only 3 that did have it. Only one dunk performed for the fourth quarter, that was Jackson. Our biggest bleed here was 31. Only in possession was 14.53. Their tough plays always keeps it coming. So that was a great successful game, as this really turned out to be a one lucky credit run. Well, I have to tell you now, they got it all down here in between. And they're not really particularly a definite great drive. It could be a well well excellent drive range they got a lot of things coming down and as we close things off here let's check out your three star players of the game let's have a look and see what we have first up with number three this one has to turn things over a tough range inbound jason tatum he knows what he can do only one steal assist and rebound and seven points was lifted off from his lift angle only stayed in good condition here. He has never picked up a three-pointer range. He went wide out. And only field goal percentage was kicked off to make that one much easier. Only 10 performance run. Number two, as we go right from the other side, is Jalen Brown. Eight points and only had received two three-pointers in the game. Only eight performance was a less one to make the resistance side on. And your number one. That one goes to the New Balance player of the game, Luka Doncic. 19 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, a terrific look of the angle of the field goal range, 9 out of 10. He is perfect right on his score in the first half, but one was left off short. And that's okay, he really did all it all what he had. He is the best player that he ever did here just like that and only 25% of the performance run he did so far. Well, as we're being said right now, this was a great game that this turned out to be the most. 
So that is it for now. I'd like to thank you all for watching here of the NBA 2K23 of the Mavericks and Celtics. Stay tuned for the next game as we have the Suns taking on against Atlanta Hawks at State Farm Arena in the number one part of the one games. Another Eastern and Western Conference matchup here for this part of the game. After this one, then we got another one. Well, and I have to say that this has every been a conduction of this game to show things off with the best highlight moments here from Luka Doncic and some other players as well. And this has been a presentation here of the NBA 2K23. If you'd like to check out the last couple games, you can go ahead and check that one out. Here for the first, Pelicans against Pistons and the first game, Knicks against Grizzlies. But we will see them next time for the playoff spot and for this game. And hope you all are watching the NBA too. Keep your eyes peeled if you see one. And with that one, the next commentary of this line will be another one to make this thing on the bucket list to have it all down. As we have is again, we will be taking over again from the other players to make the reside on more successful. Light bulb, set of beasts, and of course, fan. That is the next matchup that they will be going through. As they will have another one to make the matchups here. And with that one, peace out to all everyone here for the NBA fans. And for a while as the NBA 2K23 diet. We'll see you all here for the next game. And keep tuning in for another, another game. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.